Hey, hello YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, so what I have here in front of me are two Smith & Wesson J-Frame revolvers. So we have uh, the Model 36 Chief Special. All steel construction. And this one is the Model 642 Snub Nose, double actions only. So um, I already have a video on my uh, Model 36 Chief Special and I will put a link below and uh, you can check it out if you want. Uh, so today we're going to talk about my uh, uh, 642. It's a aluminum frame, lightweight, featherweight, J-frame, um, double actions only. I love how like it has a smooth kind of a back that you know there's no exposed hammer or anything to to get uh, cut onto your clothing or your pocket uh, this is a specifically designed for concealed carry um, of course plus p uh, one eight and seven quarters um, inch barrel so it's not even two inches so it's a classic um, snub nose it has the exact sort of frame dimension as the Model 36 uh, Chief Special. Same dimensions on the barrel, um, even on like, you know, the, the front side is the same. Same type of um, kind of a fixed rear side, kind of like a groove. And um, this one weighs about just hair under 20 ounces. And this one is about 15 ounces because of the uh, the aluminum frame, lightweight constructions. Um, so uh, I think there's a, a million videos about this particular revolver. Uh, you know, people like Hickok 45. This is one of his favorites. So uh, many years ago, I watched one of his, his video and then I decided to get one. And it become one of my um, everyday carry. So my other uh, everyday carry gun is my 6 hour P365. Um, this one's loaded, so I was going to keep it in the holster. I'm not going to take it out. Uh, the holster is riding in. It's the PJ holster, one piece construction, Kydex. Uh, this is one is the um, appendix carry style. I have this pistol for just about a year, and I have a video on it. Um, I'll put a link down below so you can check it out as well. So before this, um, the 642 is my primary carry. Um, I had a uh, changed out the the Chris, uh, pistol grip with a the Santos bell clip um, grip. It has a, a a clip that will clip onto your belt that's integrated as part of the the grip. It's on the uh, the right hand side, so when you do appendix carry, it goes down like that. It, it's kind of like a, a modify, a safer version of Mexican style carry, right? Um, if you want, you know, if you know what the Mexican carry is, uh, just have to be aware that the trigger is not shrouded. Uh, there's nothing that covers the trigger, so just be aware of that. Uh, when you know holster and unholstering, I mean belting and unbelting the pistol back on your your belt. And uh, other than that, um, it's pretty, you know, I I find the um, the belt clip you know works really well, and also it does not really prevent you know my hand from having a good grip on the uh, on the pistol, and uh, it has you know my my pinky kind of do stick out a little bit but i don't have you know big thick fingers so i don't i don't need to be worried about not having you know uh, enough finger to grip onto the grip and plus is this is a 30a um you know there's not really a lot of kicks to it and i can really manage shooting it really well um the other way i carry it is just uh with a simple um 
pocket holster. Uh, anything will work, you know, even like a cheap UTG will work just fine. And uh, the bell clip grip does not prevent the holster, uh, does not prevent the, the gun uh, being securely holstered. Do you see now the, the, the barrel goes all the way down and then it's still, uh, and it's just about right where uh, it stops the, the end of the, the clip. So, you know, it will still work even with this uh, grip on. Uh, the pocket holster will still function pretty well. So, so there's two options. So if I wear a pants, like a cargo pants that has big pockets, I would choose these options. But if I don't have a po uh, pocket, uh, big cargo pants or big pockets, um, this one will work just fine. Um, like the gun only weights only 15 ounces. So even if I, I'm wearing a pair of sweatpants, say in the middle of the night, I go out, take the trash out to the to the curbside, you know, even the sweatpants uh, will hold this thing and um, something simple. Uh, one thing about the Santa's grip is that the fit and finish is not as good uh, this you, you can see it raised edges, you know, above the uh, the back side of the the grip, and actually it used to be a lot worse. I have to sort of dremel it a little bit down, um, and smooth it down so that when I'm hold on to it, the the middle of my palm does not feel that that sharp edges. So I do have to do a little bit of modification to make it uh, comfortable to use. But other than that. It's uh, it works really well. So let's do some dry firing. Um, I really like the the double action on this revolver. You know, it's it's heavy, but it's definitely manageable, and you can stage it. You know, like right there. You see that click and it's staged, and then it becomes sort of a single action pull. Um. So after like I don't know I fire I used it for many years, and I can, uh, I can I think I can shoot it pretty well, uh, and then also this trigger so kind of gets smoothed, the double action trigger gets smoother over time, and then there's a lot of dry firing going on you know just do it at home safely see like that is a staging, I stage to where it just break, and then that right there so it's pretty smooth I, I I have no complaint and I have a video to show you I took it up to the mountain I put a gong a 10 inch gong at 25 yards and uh, that's how I practice I because I just want to kind of be able to shoot it you know five shots you know two or three times uh, out of five shots then I'm happy because um, it's a fixed sight but the fixed eye actually lines up really well. Uh, I can definitely pick up the the target and I can hit that target pretty consistently uh, without any kind of Kentucky windage adjustments. So um, I'm pretty happy about it because sometimes with a fixed sight, if you're not lucky, if the barrel, because this is not the pinned in barrel, it's the, uh, the threaded in barrel. So if it's not timed correctly, you might have a problem where, um, you know, you have to do a little bit of Kentucky windage uh, holdover to uh, to be able to shoot something further away. Uh, same thing with my Model 36. I was pretty happy that uh, the sights uh, lined up really well at distance. So without further ado, uh, let's go take a look at the, um, the video. Um, so what I what I did was I I, sh I was shooting some uh, just some regular PMC 132 grains uh, full metal jacket, and then uh, I also shot some uh, 120 grain Federal Plus P uh, jacket hollow points. Um, so they are basically the Federal 120 grain, and then the PMC uh, 132 grains. And then um, I'm also loading some uh, watt cutters. Now, these are 148 grains watt cutters. 
that I'm trying to load um, to have it um, to kind of try to shoot it. But right now, the problem is I cannot find primers. So um, I I shot a bunch of them a while ago, and then now I don't have any primers to load more. So once I load more, I will put another video up so that and then if you subscribe to my channel and you'll get a ringer on my on, on your notification that I put in a new video so uh, watch out for that it's coming up hopefully I can find primers so yeah let's go and take a look uh, the shooting part 642 snub nose 25 yards 10 inch call we'll see how many times I can hit it There's three, three out of five, not bad, right? Uh -huh. It's cool, you can see the slug bouncing off. Really? Yes, that could definitely pretty accurate. Three out of five, 25 yards. Uh, on a good days, maybe I can hit another one, but uh, it's pretty good. Very smooth. You can definitely get really accurate with this gun. Good for self protection. Five rounds, you know, just little belt clip holster. I mean, belt clip uh, grip. Pretty easy to use. Put it on to your belt, and uh, you know, if you go out get mails and uh, take out garbages, you know, something easy and quick. You know, or go to shopping or go to the ATM machine, get money out of the ATM machine. And then, you know, 10 o'clock at night at some shady, uh, sketchy neighborhood, yeah, something like that. Put in your pocket and ready to go. Okay, so that was the shooting part of the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I always tell people that I am not the best shot in the world, but if I can hit a 10 inch gong at 25 yards consistently, three out of five times, even with plus P ammo, that goes to show that this revolver is definitely very capable of being accurate at distance if the shooters do their part and apply the right uh, fundamentals, you know, trigger control, breathing control, and things like that. Uh, you know, being that the gun is such a lightweight gun with the short barrel, and the sight is dead on, and I'm super happy about that. Uh, that's why it has been my uh, primary carry, at least one of my primary carry options for all these years. So yeah, that will conclude my review of this revolver i hope you guys um like the video and uh, i hope you guys all subscribe and i have a lot more video to come and then once i do i will let you know until then take good care and thank you